Hi, welcome to Dogaholic Booties, where we're going to be going over the compensation and benefit structure for the various positions we will be offering. Our total rewards philosophy is um, based on the employees being the key to the company's success. So we know that we want to be able to provide them competitive pay, benefits, compensation, because that's going to be able to help attract and retain that top talent that we're looking for. So to ensure that we are also remaining competitive, we'll be having industry knowledge along with competitive insight to make sure that these employees wouldn't be leaving us for a couple cents more um, and better uh, benefits package and perks. So some of the various um, packages we'll be offering are um, a full medical dental vision, and then we have various um, perks as well, such as the tuition reimbursement, college loan payback, PTO, um, payday, uh, paid holiday, and employees perks program, et cetera. So for the compensation structure um, for the executives, this range from management all the way up to C-levels. And if they're getting paid at a 75000 base salary with all the compensation that goes along with it, it'll generally cost the company about um, 100 k per employee at this um, base salary. So we base the um, initial salary off of experience and education level. So because this is a startup company, we're looking to make sure that the ideal candidate is having all this experience um, under their belt because we want somebody to be able to hit the ground running versus if we were to promote within where we would be providing some more training uh, to make sure that the candidate is fully equipped for the position. So when we look at um, the overall burden, the labor burden that these employees will cost the company, we're seeing that at the 75000 for an annual salary, there's multiple um, labor, bur labor burdens that go into these employees. So we have like FICA, FUDA, SUDA, workers' comp. We have insurance, um, various perks that um, the company will be paying for. And we're able to see just how much that um, – plays a role into how much we spend on the employees. So we can see, for instance, additional bonuses, we have calculated about $1,500 would be going into the um, employee at the end of the year. And when everything is all said and done, that typically will bring us to that, um, the total burden of 100,000. For the CEOs, um, their package is going to be structured a little bit differently because obviously they have um, heftier goals that they need to accomplish, which will be set by our board members. So um, with that, uh, we have the CEOs, according to Ben McClure, that we see that the um, general base salary typically comes in around a million dollars. And uh, we want to be able to support this because we're projected to reach um, revenue goals of our competition. So the competition we're going up against, such as Roughware, Kurgo, Simply She, Planet Dog, these companies are having, um, if exceeded the million dollar mark in revenue alone, and that's according to Owler. So we have projected that we will be able to reach that in a short period of time, and we also want to exceed that. So we want to give the CEO the base salary of the million dollars to achieve those short-term incentives um, that will be helping to generate that revenue goal that Dogaholic Booties has created. Um, <clears throat> so some of the short-term incentives, according to price, is increasing revenue or profit margins, increasing uh, market share, and looking for new ways to expand into new markets. So these are some of the objectives that the CEO needs to accomplish that will also accommodate for such a large salary. In addition to that, uh, we want to offer them different stock options. And according to McClure, CEOs can truly have their interests tied with shareholders when they own shares, not options. So ideally, that involves giving executive bonuses on the condition they use the money to buy shares. We also are going to be um, 
giving them access to obviously the normal benefits, 401, short and long-term disability, PTO, et cetera. And for us to remain competitive, we've given the um, additional benefits as well by receiving loan to pay taxes, forgiveness of loans, club memberships, and et cetera. So when we look at how much a CEO will cost the company, if they're receiving the annual salary of a million dollars, and again, much like the executive position with the various um, labor burdens that go into it, we're able to see just how much they're gonna be costing the company. So they're gonna generally, when everything's all said and done, we're looking at over a million dollars the CEO will be um, taking home. So when we look at sales representatives, we're also going to be um, looking at a typical base salary of 43 to 84,000. Um, this position, again, it will be about 75,000. It will be based on their experience. Um, much like the executives, they're gonna be costing the company about um, $100,000. And uh, if we were to pay them about 55, if they come in more at that lower range, they'll be costing the company about 80,000 with uh, the labor burdens. So this is how um, we're looking at a general sales representative uh, with $55,000 as their annual salary. And again, this just breaks it down with what the company is going to be offering. And when everything is all said and done, they will be um, typically costing the company about $80,000 with compensation and benefits included. Here we're looking at manufacturing. We're going to be um, typically paying about a salary of $40,000 for the manufacturing company or um, portion of the business. They'll also be coming in around uh, $60,000 for their total annual burden cost. Shipping and receiving, they'll be based on an hourly rate. Uh, they'll be paid about $15 and, uh, dollars an hour, and obviously that will change due to the amount of experience that they have. But typically, they'll be um, costing the company about $50,000 when everything is, again, all said and done. So to make sure that um, dogaholic booties are compliant with ACA, we're going to be providing them full um, health insurance, and that's for all full-time employees. We also um, anticipate to have our workforce reach over 50 employees. So we wanna make sure that we are staying compliant with the ACA and all their rules and regulations. So we will be paying $20,000 for family coverage, coverage and leave uh, to pay the employee about um, $6,000. And if the employee is on a single plan, their annual deductible will be around $1,600. ACA benefits, again, if they are looking at a um, hourly rate of $35, they will be costing the company about um, $100,000 based on how much they've been making and what we put in for compensation and benefits. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining, and we will be in touch.